it's Happy Mail Queen. So I do have a haul for you guys. Um, today I was I went to go get my nails done. Yay! Look, I love them. And she did this um, iridescent. Um, she put this iridescent powder on two of my nails, as you can see there. But I just love this blue. It's so pretty. And it just feels so good to finally get my nails done, you guys. You guys know I've been complaining about my nails for a while now. So <laughs> anyway, next door to my um, nail lady, there just happens to be a Dollar Tree. So I did pop in there. I didn't find very much stuff, though. I didn't. Uh, I just bought like a couple of things. Um, so let me just show you. First of all, I saw these candles and I just really like the little jar. And I hadn't seen this before, so um, this one is a, the Rose Collection. Yeah, it's called the Rose Collection, um, but this is a lavender scent, and it's pretty airtight, so I do like the, the seal of this. And um, it smells like lavender, so it's pretty good. So... I got um, a couple of those, so I did pick those up, and they had other scents there, um, but nothing that I, I cared for, um, and then I just got these boxes, I found this one, and I thought it was really pretty because of the scallops, so I don't know if this was an Easter box, but, well, it's... It's uh, clearly spring, so I do love the sunflower. I think that's a sunflower. It's a big yellow flower and a butter. F um, sorry, the ladybug, and I just really loved the scallops. So I thought that was really cute, and it's small. It's like I don't know four by six, and it's blue on the inside. And I just thought it was really cute for Happy Mail, and it was only a dollar. So um, they had other boxes there. There were like. Um, some other spring boxes that were uh, flower shaped but this was the one that I really really liked and then I found this one I was looking for more of the scalloped edged um, tops but I didn't find any other one aside from these two so and this was like in the very very back and so this one's nice and glittered and it's really pretty with a with butterfly a butterfly and flowers and then the inside is yellow so super cute they're just they just look so springy and fun so I had to grab them and really that's all I got from the Dollar Tree because then I, I had to hurry up and get my nails done um, so I got those I got a few things from online so let me just share that with you guys so um I've kind of already took some of it out of the packaging. Um, I had two orders from Amazon. One of them, um, I ordered these, and I have some of these, but I only had silver. And this was such a great deal on Amazon that I couldn't pass it up. And it came in three different colors, the gold, the... Um, this one right here, the it's kind of brassy, or it looks very like antique gold, and then the silver. And I just really like um, the Little Mermaids, um, and you get a lot. I think it was like a hundred, and um, just because I wanted to make some more of these embellishment jars, and there's my Little Mermaid right there. But also, I wanted to make some charms for little um, summer necklaces. And um, I just got this in the mail yesterday. Look how pretty, you guys. Is that not gorgeous? Now, when I was on uh, HobbyLobby.com, I did see the mermaid scale um, little cabochon just like this one. And it is nesting in one of these. Um, what are these called again? Uh, it escapes me. But anyway, it's a charm. Um, I don't know if they have it at the actual Hobby Lobby, but I did see it on their website. But it doesn't have this nice ornate P 
piece on top. It just has like a loop and I think a jump ring. And then this part here, it's it doesn't have this part either. This nice, um, this has just a better setting. And um, and this one's mine because it's aquamarine because that is my birthstone because I'm a March baby. Um, so but let me just show you the rest of them because I didn't take them out of the package yet. But they came packaged like this and it came in a set of eight. So this one I think they call light violet, I think. Super pretty. Isn't that pretty? I'll probably give this one to my BFF because she loves purple. And then um, this one here is, um, I think they just call it white, white or clear, I can't remember. I think it was white. But it's, as you can see, it's iridescent. It's like a kind of holographic. I guess you can say it's a holographic one. It came in the green. Really pretty, right? Kind of that emerald green. And then here's this one. Now they called this one dark, dark violet, I think. Um, but it, it just, it looks purple to me. Okay. With a hint of rose, it actually kind of looks like a rosy color. This one's the one they called rose, I think. Really pretty. And then they had it in this um, orange. It looks a little peachy, but I think they called it orange. But I just love the setting. It's I love that ornate look. And then they have this brown. They call it brown, but it kind of looks, to me, it kind of looks a little rose gold. Let's see if I can show you because this sticker is in the way. Or maybe copper. Maybe it's more of a copper. But I just love how pretty they are. Okay, and I think that's it because there's eight. So what I plan to do is because on Amazon I saw um, charms that they were selling or necklaces that they were selling. And it actually had like the mermaid in the front like that. With um, the scales on the back of it. And that's what I want to make. So, isn't that pretty? I think it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I just need to get some chain, um, which I haven't ordered yet. But yeah, so that was my um, Amazon haul. And what else did I haul? I'm trying to think. But yeah, I thought this was, oh my gosh, it's such a great deal. I couldn't pass it up because like I have... I have a lot of sea themed charms already, but this was just, I couldn't pass it up, you know, and I even have these charms, um, but I think it only came in a pack of, I forgot, if it, it was like a small pack, um, and I still have some though, but I couldn't pass it up because I, it came with the three different colors, and so I just happened to find it, you know, um, so I thought that was a great deal, um, and then I got one of my orders today, I went on HSM. Um, if you guys follow Anna Griffin, she um, she was on HSN promoting her products. Again, um, it was May 2nd, and I totally, like, I had it on my calendar, I think. I remember she was going to do it, um, but I... I wanted a set of dyes, and when I went back, they were all sold out, <laughs> so I was kind of disappointed, but I was, you know, browsing. I was on hsn.com, and I found a clearance item, and it was only $19.95, and it was Maggie Holmes, you guys, American Crafts. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is an older collection. But I, I just had to get it because for the price, oh wow, it was, it was a bundle and it was clearance and it's perfect for spring and, and I love this collection from Maggie Holmes. Um, maybe 
you guys might have found the papers at Tuesday morning because um, I'm pretty sure I've seen it. I never picked it up. Um, the only thing that I did pick up, um, not, oh, the only thing I picked up from Tuesday morning that I did find was this. So I do have the rhinestones. I love this though, by the way. So I don't mind getting like another pack or two. Okay, so I got that. That was the only one I found. I didn't find the butterfly, so I was really bummed about that. And that's why I got this um, bundle from HSN because I wanted the butterfly. <laughs> And the chipboard pieces but if you guys remember I had hauled this chasing dreams by Maggie Holmes um, I had hauled this from an Etsy um, shop it was like a little bundle and it came with the paper I'm pretty sure it came with the paper yeah it came with the paper it came with this um, chipboard which they call thickers actually but um, they're so pretty. It came with this one. It came with the rhinestones. It came with the puffy stickers, which I totally love because I love those butterflies. And it came with um, these um, word stickers and labels. And so that what was that's what was in the bundle. And this one was a great deal too on Etsy, so I, that's why I grabbed it. But the one from... Um, HSN was the 12 by 12 paper. It came with the butterfly, so I had to grab it. And the ephemera, because I did not have the ephemera. And I'm pretty sure I've looked on Amazon, and the ephemeras on Amazon get really expensive. Um, they do. They're like about eight bucks plus shipping, so, you know, I, I really don't want to pay that much for um, ephemeras unless they're like super new or, um, you know, I really need it. Um, because, I mean, Tuesday, you, you find these things at Tuesday morning and they're like $2. So it's like hard to pay $8 for them, right? But this one is so pretty. Chasing Dreams. Um, all those elements right there. If you can see that. Again, this is an older collection. Some of you who collect Maggie Holmes, um, who get to love crepe paper, you probably have this because I think this was, was this last year or the year before? 2016. Um, so, but I just remember this collection and I remember the butterflies. I remember liking the butterflies and wanting to make some fringed butterflies. Um, one thing about crepe paper I've always liked is their, um, their little ephemeras, their embellishments. Um, I was never like, super crazy about the paper itself but it's growing on me it's like now I do love it um it just never I guess um what do I want to say it just never really captured me like it never um was something that I was like super excited about the papers before but um it's like I'm seeing seeing it differently now <laughs> I don't know why, but um, maybe it's just because, you know, um, I don't know. People are into Maggie Holmes right now. and um, But this particular collection I like because of the pastel colors because, you know, I'm not usually into the darks. Like, I know there's the new flourish and everyone's like, oh, my gosh, it's so pretty. And, and it is pretty with all the florals, but um, it's a little dark for me. Um, this collection does have some darks, but most of it is, I feel like it's light. And so this is, this is the one I like. So I can't wait to play with it, you guys. So um, I'll just show you because maybe some of you guys are um, new to, you know, Maggie Holmes products. But she does have just the prettiest and cutest um, ephemeras and... Um, embellishments I just love the embellishments and you know we're lucky enough to find it at Tuesday morning sometimes so there's the cut apart so you get just to let you know 48 papers um, and they're not double-sided so um, see like this is a little dark for me the background but I love the florals and I just like, I want to fussy cut all that. <laughs> I don't know, I just do. This is pretty. This is very unique. 
and this is kind of what she's known for too is she always has like cameras um, in her like one of um, the paper designs has cameras in it this one you know I can leave um, but it's pretty it's a pretty background okay I love this okay all the butterflies of course and these would be fun to fussy cut because they don't look too intricate um, they look like easy butterflies to cut so I'm definitely gonna do that this is kind of interesting right here um, I do like the, the peachy and the pink and you can totally um, cut those apart six and make them six by six love the florals one thing about Maggie home she does have florals and I love this paper you guys I I'm not like I said I'm not usually into blues but lately it's just been like my favorite I don't know it's the way the roses just pop out of the page because you know they're white they're like I don't know they just pop out of the page and it's just that's my one of my favorite papers uh, in this collection and then you have a calendar which you know is probably like well that was like 2016's calendar or 2017 <laughs> um, like this one, it's okay. Again, nice for a background. This one as well. But I love the little, you know, the tiny flowers. I do love florals. This one is really cute and it's very springy. So this would, would have been great if I had gotten this before Easter. But I had I have another Easter paper that I, I didn't even touch either. So these are cute cut-aparts. And I love this one. Love it castle so cute garden girl Eng english roses oh it's a journal lavender oh i love that just really pretty cut aparts and this is really cute too to um just cut those strips they're like taped on there it's really fun this one's pretty too it's a nice combination of teal and yellow this is really nice. And look at this. It's like paint splotches. Um, then you have some leaves. And I love this. I want to cut these apart too. I'll see if I have a, a big enough punch. Maybe I can punch these out so they come out nice. Um, this one, uh, it's like watercolor, marbling, but it's, you know, super green. I don't know about that one. I love this one, too. Look at the birds. So there's a lot of pastel colors. Love this one. And I've seen people, like, um, just fussy cut these um, scallops. That would be really pretty. Love this one. It's very tropical. And then you have more cut aparts. Love the swans and the butterflies and the birds, the florals. See, I want to fussy cut these flowers. Um, oh, and that's it. It repeats. Oh, so it does repeat. I, I thought for some reason I was only getting one. Oh, that's good. Because then um, I thought maybe I only get one cut apart or two. right but it doesn't matter it's enough to work with but yeah I really like that and you know it was a whole bundle so you get the washi tape which comes with uh, oh there's is it only two? Oh yeah it's only two I for some reason I thought there were three different washi tape but it's only two one is 10.7 yards and the other one is 5.3 yards and they're like um, little tickets really cute and I love the colors and like I said it comes with these and the ephemera and then it also comes with this and this I don't have and the chipboard I love I do love crepe paper chipboard um, in fact I tend to hoard it when I find it at Tuesday morning um, but th these are really cute and it has gold foiling so I love that and look at the girl she's so cute with her glasses and her long black hair that looks like me <laughs> um, and I do have P 
pink glass as well. I have black and pink glasses. I do. I don't always wear it though. But I love that she has a camera and she has something in her hand. What is it? A journal? Maybe? Really cute though. Um, just, I love this. It's pastels. Love it. So yay. I'm so happy I got this and I was, I couldn't wait for it to get here. Um, I really need to do something with this collection because now I have, um, a lot to work with. So, um, oh my gosh, <gasps> I want to already play with it right now. So, um, so yeah, that's my haul. I hope you guys liked it and thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye for now.